What up, gang? Happy Wednesday. I'm here killing a little time in the office. Thought I'd teach you a fun little party song, Dirt on My Boots. I've talked to it before, but I'm going to go over a little things a little bit different and just remind you, this is a great song that's easy to play. Um, the whole song, verses and chorus, D minor. C, G. Might have a little dirt on my boots, but I'm taking you up tonight. Have a little mud on my wheels, gonna shine with you up inside. Gonna hit the club, gonna cut the road, burn up the neon lights. Have a little dirt on my boots, gonna dance the dust right off the Fun song to play. It's a, it's a fun little song that if you just learn guitar, you can jam this one. And people probably in the room, if they know country music at all, uh, they've heard this one as of late. Now, your D minor chord, I don't use this one often. Thunder Rolls. I'm trying to think of a couple other songs that use this one. Um, you take your first finger, it's the bottom string of the first fret. And the second fret, third string. And then the third fret, second string. So you're playing the one, two, all three frets. Bottom string, third string, second fret string. It's the bottom four strings. Now what you'll see me do too, I'm not using a pick on this one. So a lot of times I'll hammer on my middle finger. So hammer on, down, down. Then I'll also put my pinky on that third fret, bottom string, on and off. So a great exercise, even if you're not learning the song, is just Yeah. Hammer on, strum, strum, pinky on, off. Hammer on, strum, pinky on, off. Now for my C that I play, you know, that I call, I call it a C, it's a C at nine. You're going from right there immediately. Your ring finger's already in the right place. Put your pinky on the bottom string, and then you got to your bottom two locked, you know, to do our regular fourth and fifth is your C, bottom five. And then fifth and sixth, all six is G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. D minor for four, C for two, G for two. Been up since the crack of dawn. So if I'm a beginner, I'm going to first work on just learning the E minor chord. And yeah, I'm going to do down strums. So it's going to be a... It's a Have a little dirt on my boots. I'm taking you. Think of the seat. Uptown. Tonight. So I'm working on doing four down strums on the D minor. Two down strums on the C. Two down strums on the G. And I'll slowly work on singing and all that kind of stuff. But if I'm starting out, that's all I'm going to do. Might have a little mud on my wheels. Gonna shine with you up inside. So you, you know, even if you're a beginner, I always say, even if you're choppy, uh, if you're if you're not smooth changing your chords or whatever, or if, if even if the chords sound a little muffled, baby. If you just kind of fight through that and just work on keeping that consistent timing. So even if you're going slow, as long as it's consistent. For example, have a little mud on my boots. Have a little mud on my wheels. They're gonna shine with you up inside. You know, I, cause trust me, I realize that's how a beginner sounds. I'm over here doing this. Doing like stopping strings. Now 
then I promise you, and I want you to know, trust me when I say this, it wasn't always that way for, for years. I mean, probably the first three, four years, whatever. My, my chords were so muffled. And, and it would sound dead like that. Have a little mud on my boots. Taking you uptown tonight. Have a little mud on my wheels. Gonna shine with you up inside. Wanna hit the club. So it might sound like that. That's okay. Fight through it, guys. I'm telling you. It's, it, 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 learning guitar is like exponential. So it's not going to be the same at year two as year three as year four. Once it sometimes started clicking to me, now I'm like, oh, I get this. I get it now. So hang in there. Um, I always tell people learn those first four chords, your G, C, E minor, D. Keep those bottom two locked. Learn that way. Learn the track chords. Then maybe learn A minor. That kind of thing. And then maybe we'll add some hammer-ons. And find some very, very simple songs that you can kind of master. A couple songs as a country fan that I think you can master very quick. Um, Travis Tritt, I'm Gonna Be Somebody. I'm gonna be somebody. Uh, and then the other one is Keith Whitley's. That's just G, D, C, D. Those strings are definitely getting out of tune. Um, people always ask me about tuning guitar alternate tunings. I still have to use electronic tuner. I'm not good enough to just kind of like, those are really advanced players. That is their ear. Okay, I got it. That's not me. I have to use it. I use guitar tuna. T U N A uh, to tune my um, to my guitar, that kind of thing, which needs it right now, bad. Anyway, guys, hope it helps you out a little bit. Like I, like I said, I like to just be way less formal and have fun with these lessons. Uh, check out Guitar Teacher. Wait, no, Guitar Teacher Forty Four. That's my Snapchat. Uh, CountrySongTeacher.com. Make sure if you do me a favor, subscribe to both of my channels. Acoustic Selection. I have two YouTube channels. Um, acoustic Selection and AcousticSelection.com. Country Song Teacher and CountrySongTeacher.com. So be sure to subscribe both of those, help a brother out, and uh, comment below what's your kind of favorite party song, kind of fun song to play. And please give the video a thumbs up. That sure helped me out. So, uh, all right, guys, get back to work. Holla.